Placement automation just got a whole lot better with Scale Insights. They've just made some new updates to the automation side, which are gonna give you a lot more granular control of what your placements are targeting. So let's jump into it. So this feature actually came out at the end of April, but we wanted to wait until we had a good month of testing to be able to share it with you and share some of our experiences. And it's so far, it's been working pretty well. Rest of search is the main thing that's been added to the placement rule. And being able to target this gives us a lot more control of where we're showing up the ads and we're actually getting it in the places where the conversion rate makes sense. We're gonna show you a conversion rate breakdown so you can see how it differentiates between what you're actually targeting. But to actually summarize what's happened here, placement rule has now been supported and added to the automations tab. It's under the placement rule. So you can have your criteria set this rule to apply based on the conversion rate, based on anything that you want there. So you have a lot of control now of not only product pages on top of search, but rest of search. We're gonna be showing you how to set this up, so it's relatively easy to do. So stay tuned and we'll show you that in just a moment. Now what I wanted to show you here is how it differentiates by conversion rate based on the placements. And typically we always see that top of search has the best conversion rate. And in some cases it's gonna have a better ACOS, like in this case it's much better, but Sometimes rest of search will have a good conversion rate as well, depending on what products there are in the market. So you wanna be targeting what has the best conversion rate, what can generate the best ACOS. You don't wanna not target product pages because you are getting some sales from there, but you wanna target more where you're converting the best that's gonna help you with your profitability and allow you for some cheaper sales. You can see cost per click is also a lot lower on rest of search compared with product pages and top of search. So adding in rest of search into this, into automation gives you a lot more flexibility on what you're actually targeting. So setting up the rule is actually pretty easy. All you need to do is add in, I guess, name and description so you can identify what you've set up go into here and figure out which trigger you're gonna be going for. Make sure you select rest of search. You can use any of your own criteria from before or go ahead and create your own. So you would wanna make the criteria based on what you think best fits your brand. So a lot of videos we have describing what the best criteria and the main principles you wanna go for are. So if you wanna check those out, subscribe to the channel and stay up to date with anything Amazon PPC and Scale Insights. Now. Down here, you need to be looking at your placement stats. So rest of search impressions at most, you can go as granular as you want. So you don't need to fill any of this in. I would recommend you do, but make sure you put in spend, sales, conversion rate's a good one and click through rates. So if you find that the cost per click is increasing too much, then you can have a cap on that. Same with ACOS and ROAS. So it gives you a lot of control into how that works optional days to analyze, you wanna fill that in, make sure there's enough time between the attribution period of when the actual uh, data comes in and the change gets made. So this is a must that I would say. Also priority, if you wanna have priority campaigns, that's something you should do, especially if you have certain other placement campaigns that you want to be priority. When it comes down to it, adjust modifier. So you wanna select the placement modifier that you're gonna use, Maybe it's 100%, maybe it's 500%. That's up to you. Pick something that best fits your product and best fits your niche. And also how much you wanna be adjusting the bids by at most. So if you are gonna be adjusting bids in the placement rule, then you've got the option to do so here. Maximum bid. This is primarily targeted at the placement rule, but having your bids as part of the rule to fluctuate will give you a little bit more leeway. So you can make changes to the bidding structure here if you want to. If you do want it to just be about placements, you just need to fill out the top bid. So relatively straightforward, and then you need to link it to your actual product, and then that should be all good to go. We hope you found that helpful, and hopefully it gives you some better ways to better optimize your Amazon PPC placements. If you have any questions, you need help with your Amazon PPC, you can contact us below, kickstartppc.com. Schedule an audit with us, see if there's a way we can help you out. We work with Scale Insights users all the time. This is our primary 
platform that we use with our clients. So we're very efficient with Scale Insights. We know what works, we know what doesn't. And if you don't yet have Scale Insights, we have a coupon code below with a 10% lifetime discount and a 30 day free trial. You don't need to put your credit card in to give it a try. So it's worth seeing if it's a good fit for your brand. You can test out these automations and see if it can make a difference to your business. Until next video, hope you guys have a good one and we'll see you soon. Bye.